So as we can see, each of the transactions has amount of money attached to them. And we have discussed that in accounting, we are interested in the financial aspect, okay? So the monetary aspect is what we want to look at. So with this equation still standing, let's now look at how the equation will play out with respect to the values which are found here. So, we are going to do a small exercise. And the exercise is that we are going to identify our assets, identify our liabilities, and also identify our capital. So, let's start. So let's start with motor van and then look at stock. We also have bank and we have cash. We have capital, we have um, loan from bank, and we have trade creditors, okay? Creditors, all right. Now, let's come here. On the 1st of January, what happened? There was introduction of 10,000 Ghana cities into the business by the owner. So we said the effect is that there will be increase in asset, right? In the form of cash. So we go to cash, let's trace, this is cash. We say cash will increase, so we say plus 10,000 Ghana cities. Okay, yes, we should have Ghana cities there. 10,000 Ghana cities. Then, Increase in capital. So capital is also plus 10,000 Ghana cities. Okay. So this is what we are talking about. Capital is 10,000 Ghana cities. Now, let's look at the next date, 6th January. January 6th. What happened? Purchase goods amounting to 3,000 on credit from Jan. We said there will be increase in asset in the name of what? Stock. So let's look at stock. Yes, yeah, stock is here. Stock is increasing by how much? By 3,000 Ghana cities. Okay. Then increase in liabilities. We bought the stock on credit. We didn't pay. So trade creditors will also increase. So our liabilities are increasing by 3,000 Ghana cities, okay? Now, let's look at the next date, 17 January. January 17th. What happened? Acquired a loan of 6,000 from ADB Bank. There was increase in assets in the form of cash. So, we come here, our cash is increasing by 6,000 Ghana cities. And it's a loan we took from ADB. And we are going to have the loan. Yes, there's loan here. Our loan will increase. The loan we, we are owing to the bank will increase. The amount is 6,000 Ghana cities. Okay. Now let's look at the next date. 19th, purchase motor van, 3,600. And paid by cash. So, cash is moving out. What did we say will happen? Increase in assets in the name of motor van. So, let's look at motor van. Here, motor van is increasing by how much? 3,600. So, plus something is decreasing, an asset is decreasing, and the name of the asset, let me, the date is 19th. The date is 19th, so January 19th, there is increase in motor van by 3,600, okay? And at the same time, you use cash to pay for the motor van, so cash is reducing. So cash is reducing minus um, 3,600. Can we see that? So asset is 
increasing and asset is reducing. Are you noticing something? Anytime the transaction affects this side and this side, if this side increases, this side must increase. If this side decreases, this side must also decrease by the same figure. Okay? And so if the transaction affects just one side, only the asset side, it means one must increase and one must what? Decrease. Both cannot be increased, increase. And both cannot be decreased. Follow it. So on January 21, this is what happened. An amount of 4,000 Ghana cities was deposited into the bank account, which was open on that same day. Okay? So we can see that the cash that we have in the office is going to decrease. And the cash we have at bank will have to increase. So if we look here, we can see the increase in the amount at bank by 4,000 Ghana cities. Okay? And at the same time, the cash in the office will decrease by 4,000 Ghana cities. Okay? So that is it for that transaction. Let's now look at the January 24 sold goods for cash. 2,000 goods were sold for cash. Okay? So what is going to happen is that goods that we sold will be leaving the business. Okay? So there will be reduction in the goods that were sold, we said there will be increase in asset in the form of the cash that is coming in, in the form of cash. And there will be decrease in assets in the form of what? The stock, the goods we are selling, it will reduce. Okay? The goods we have will reduce because we have sold it. And the cash we have will increase because we have received cash for selling goods. So here, our cash is going to increase. So we see an increase in cash by 2,000. And so the goods that we have sold is also equal to, in fact, that is, um, the date is January 24. The stock is also going to decrease. So minus 2,000. Ghana cities. Okay. All right. So now, the last transaction is January 26th. 26th, January 26th. We drew 500 Ghana cities cash for personal use. The owner is taking money out of the business. And we are saying that the assets in the business will decrease. And that is cash. And the capital of the owner will also decrease in the form of capital. So let's go and see the decrease in cash, which will happen on January 26. OK. The decrease, sorry. Oh. Decrease in cash. The amount is 500 Ghana cities, okay? And we are saying that the capital of the owner will also decrease by an amount of 500 Ghana cities. Okay, so now let's find out, okay? Let's find out whether after all these transactions, after all these entries we have made here, the assets will still be equal to capital plus liabilities. Okay? So, we know that this part takes care of assets and this part takes care of capital 
and our liabilities, capital and liabilities. And we are saying that the assets, the site, should be equal to capital plus liabilities, okay, on the other side. All right. So let's see if that will stand. Okay. Now, let's underline this. Underline this. Underline. Underline this. Okay. So the total of motor van is 3,600. The total of stock that we have, we had 3,000 and we have sold 2,000. Now we have 1,000 worth of stock. The money we have at bank is still 4,000 Ghana cities. And here, the cash we have in the business. We have 10,000, we have 6,000, making 16,000, okay? 16,000 minus 7,000. 600 because 3,600 plus 4,000 is equal to um, 7,600. And we have 16,000 here. When we deduct 7,600, we are going to get 8,400. 8,400. We add 2,000, we get 10,400. Minus 500, we are going to get 9,900. 9,900. Okay. So when we come here, we have capital. Underline this, underline this, and underline this. Okay. So we have um, 10,000 here minus 500, giving us 9,500. Then we have 6,000 and we have 3,000, okay? So let's see if our answer will be correct, okay? Let me hire a lawyer here so that it will be very fast. Now, 3,600 plus 1,000 plus 4,000 plus... 9,900, which is equal to 18,500. So the asset side, we have 18,500 Ghana cities. Let's find out from here and see how much we are going to have for the liability, the liabilities and capital. Okay, so we have 9,500. And we have 6,000 plus 3,000. We have 18,500. Okay. So we can see that assets is equal to capital plus liability. 18,500. 18,500. Hundred, Okay, so that is how the um, financial position of the business, known as balance sheet, looks like. Okay, and so here we have been able to look at the effects of business transaction on the accounting equation. Okay, and we can see clearly that an increase in assets must other result in increase in liability or capital, okay? A decrease in assets must other result to increase, um, a decrease in capital or liabilities. And an increase in asset must either result in a decrease in asset, okay? or decrease in asset must result in decrease in asset if both transactions um, are on assets, okay? Then if the transaction affects just here, um, the same thing applies like what happens in asset, okay? So having looked at this, 
and understanding that the balance sheet um, is a formal presentation of the accounting equation, okay? And it helps us to determine the financial position of the business. And at every point in time, when we prepare the balance sheet of a business, the asset must be equal to capital plus liabilities, okay? Now, we are going to look at the effect of accounting transaction on the balance sheet. We are going to look at how the balance sheet will look like, okay? When accounting transactions happen in the year, we still have to prepare the balance sheet. So we are using the same illustration as we can see here. The balance sheet is made up of three elements, asset, capital, and liabilities, okay? So let's look at how the balance sheet will be presented as far as this um, illustration is concerned. 